Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we're about to do the final battle for the eastern end of this valley. Red Reapers are now assaulting the main base against the first static defense unit. Hey guys, I probably should have been recording this mission right from the very beginning. This one I'm playing right after the, the four skull mission. This is a one and a half skull base defense against Clan's Hell's horses. And holy crap, is it a nightmare right now. The clans basically started like right on top of our base that I had to defend. So either my choice was to drop down here or drop on the hill. So I dropped on the hill. We've been fighting them. My minefields are down. We've claimed a couple of mechs, right? I killed, shot a guy here in the back who started right in the middle of our base. Um, it's been insanity. So just to give you an idea, they started off with two lances, so a total of 10 mechs, right? They've got a Storm Crow, Storm Crow. They have three Sentinels. There's one here, one here, and another one is dead. Lost both of its legs. There's a Solaire here that's, that's lost its leg. Another Storm Crow here. Urban Mac 2C that was back up here. I just finished destroying his gyro. He's about to go down this turn. A Thorn up here, and we killed the Thorn in the base here. Now, this is turn four, the beginning of turn four. I've only moved turn around so far. She, she was the one that hit the uh, urban mech and hit the CT. So they get two more lances. One drop down over here with an urban mech uh, lamb, uh, a pack hunter, urban mech R20, urban mech R20, urban mech R59. They start on top of the base pretty much. I've got copters as my defense. One of them has been shot down already. Or the two have been shot down. I don't know. I think, there, I think there's two of them that are gone now. Um... And not only that, another lance dropped directly behind my unit. So we got a Kit Fox that hasn't moved yet, a Zora, a Solaire which has moved and fired, a Thorn, and a Copter. So these guys have got like their first turn movement immunities. So there's not much I can do about these guys at the moment. So I'm trying to kill the initial guys that dropped in over here. Now most of these guys, are, you can't tell, but most of these guys, this guy's lost a leg already. He's almost done. Uh, the Sentinel's almost done. Yeah, it's almost lost both of its legs. Like I said, all we have to do is blow on this urban mech and he'll fall over. His CT's almost gone. So I'll probably airburst him and probably kill him by, by CT damage. Stormcrow's okay here. And this Stormcrow over here, it's behind this building, is still kind of okay. We've been peppering him. He's got two LRM-20s. And so does this guy. We've been peppering him with long-range missiles, hoping to keep him from shooting at the base. And he's been shooting the copters. So... I'm gonna play out the rest of this mission on camera. Like I said, I never I thought this was supposed to be, this was supposed to be a milk run, and it's turned into a, a basically a big shit show here. So I have no idea what to expect out of this. Um, like I'm in serious jeopardy here with these guys behind me. So I I, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I've got like this turn plus six more to go. They've killed one of my buildings. Uh, I got 61 AMS rounds left. I mean, I guess I could try and... That's really bad chance to hit. Really bad. Like if we... I can't hit... Oh, I can from here. That's a terrible chance. Like, they got their first turn immunities, right? So it's not what I can do about it. I gotta, like, target... I'm gonna move a little bit. I've been trying to angle myself so they don't attack me from behind. I'm gonna move down here. I'm gonna shoot this guy down here again. And hope he can pull this leg. I doubt it, but that's a pretty good chance to hit. Nope. Good damage though, I guess. Yeah, this is a crazy fight. I don't think I've ever encountered something like this at a one and a half skull mission. The fact that they started off with three storm crows, they're like, they're like what, 55 tons each? 50 tons each? 55, I think, storm crows. Standing by. This is the first mission for the Clint, too, so. Um, position myself for safety. Oh, yeah, here's one. Here, so we lost. 
We've lost one copter. Here's one copter up here. But they're not very they're not that good, you know. They're just enough to distract the enemy. Okay, so I can't who can I target? What's this guy? That's the Sentinel. He's gonna get air bursted, so. 32 on this guy. It's not too bad in the vehicle. 42 on this guy, though. But I can get closer to a kill with the vehicle. I think we go for the getting close to a kill with the vehicle and hope we hit. Alright, we got a laser on him. That's fine. Uh, I almost want them to, to not... Like, this, just them for them to shoot to the buildings, because these buildings have got a fair amount of hit points. So, I mean... I gotta try and turn the sound down, too. I gotta turn down on my headphones for you guys, because it's really loud. Like, really loud. With the with the lamb and the, ch and the copters and everything. Alright, um... Yeah, man, we're in a really bad spot here. Let's get to here. I think I can lob a shot on the storm crew over here. 30%, that's not bad. Shit. We've yet to hit with the Clint. It just hasn't been doing anything yet. All right, um... That guy's out of range. Like, I mean, do we go danger... You know what? I'm gonna drop mines here. We're gonna put them there. That guy with the LRMs can do a lot of damage. Next turn, I gotta focus on these guys that are with, like, right on top of me. Orders. Moving to position. Okay, I'm not gonna target the urban mech. There's 47 on this storm crow. How are you? You've lost the one leg, so you're gonna get. Air burst. So we're gonna go against this storm crow. We got pretty good chances to hit, so let's just fire on this guy. Nice, two hits. One on each arm. Yeah, we got lousy defenders too. We got a galleon and a swift wind. Like if they can tie up the urban mechs maybe for like a turn or two. So I can like basically solidify this side over here. The fact that they're moving like you, I'm pointing at the screen. <laughs> the fact that these guys are moving forward... Blow the leg off, blow the leg off, blow the leg off. Die. Please die. Please die. I don't want to shoot you this turn. Please die. Yep. Is that a kill? Yep, that's a kill. Yeah, he only had a few points left in the legs. Yeah, so these guys back here, the fact that they're moving forward is good for me because that means I can pull behind them next turn. And hopefully back kill them. Yep, shoot him, shoot him. Leg hit, leg hit, please. Damn it. Maybe you'll scare him and force him to move. That guy's in a bad situation, that Stormcrow. The one down here. His legs are really low. We're almost out of uh, AMS. We gotta kill these t two Stormcrow Ds fast. The ones with the pair of LRM 20s. Or they're gonna be a big issue. So I don't have to go after this storm crow, but we do. Is that urban mech on the ground? He's is he on the ground? His ultra ten is destroyed. Okay, I think we're dropping fast cam on this guy. Come on, why can't I target him? Do I have to move forward? I probably do. Just a little far away. Alright. 
Fast game it is. As soon as that guy moves, he should take some half decent damage. Probably about 20 per leg at this point. It's only the two LRM10s plus one mortar, so probably about 20 points per leg. But it's a start. As long as he doesn't move back. Where are you going? Come on. Thanks for helping out. If he moves forward to engage us, then he's going to run into a lot of mines. Oh, he's backing up. So, what did he take? Uh, maybe a little bit more per leg. Maybe about 30 per leg. Um... Is there anything with an easy shot here? Good chance with air burst on this guy, but he's too close. We'll hit our own guys. It's this guy. 14 left in the CT. We're going to go with Guided for the best chance to hit. See if we can core him. So we do have a chance to get another urban mech out of this. No, we did not core him. Damn it. Bail out. Verbi gunship. It's almost the kind of thing that I would want. I think it's like an urban mech with a helicopter head. Next time it's my turn, I'll zoom in and see if that's what the case is. Oh, you decided to use all your rockets on that guy. Well, he died, but he successfully used up, like... Almost all of this guy's rockets. Yeah, so he's got two small chem lasers left, so he's pretty much useless. Okay, Scipio Af Africanus, please don't move. Let's just target somebody over here. Let's go out to the Stormcrow. We're going to go uh, HE on him. Okay, that was a hit. We got some. We spread some damage. Little bit, not much. There's the thorn moving. Shooting for the galleon halfway across the map. That's fine for me. That is fine for me. Yeah, I should have started this earlier when I saw the first two lances. But then I was doing really well by turn three. Like they were, there there was a lot of leg damage. And I'm thinking, well, you know, when their allies come, most likely one lance is going to be right where those guys are anyway. It's already covered in mines. And the other one, I didn't expect. I thought it was going to be vehicles or something. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But then when I saw where the reinforces, reinforcements landing, I'm like, okay, I got to record this because this is like insanity. So this is the fight I was hoping for last mission. Like I was really, really hoping for this fight last mission. But, yeah, nah. So we've got, what, four, four, ten, fifteen guys left. I've done pretty well, actually, so far. But the chances, like, they, if they focus on the building, it's, it's over, right? There's nothing I can do about it. That's why I gotta like pull as many of them down as possible right now. Alright, Carrick. Um, I don't want ah see the thing is is I don't wanna like Let's do this. We're gonna have to go after the, the back of the um, Stormcrow. I don't wanna move forward because I wanna get back shots on these guys next turn. I think this is probably the way to go. Maybe not. Uh, we barely did any damage to this guy. Although, yeah. I think that's still going to be... This is 28 with the SRMs. His armor is okay. I, it's still better to go after the back. This guy's like super heated now already too, right? Um... Copter is even good. 
54. Let's go after this guy. Maybe we can pull him down if we get a lot if we get really lucky. All right, not bad. Not bad. It's a start. I think that was our last mech to go. Urban mech's got to stand up, which I think he... Oh, we got this guy going too. Yeah, see, look at this. It's like an urban mech helicopter chassis thingamabobber. All right, well. You did your job. You spent all his rockets. This guy's going to lose his leg now. But he's done. So really, there's just the three storm crows left from the int from the first. This urban mech's pretty much finished too. It's the three storm crows left. This guy's got a lot of leg damage. Oh, he didn't die. All right, what are you doing? Your gyro is screwed. So please fall over again. No, he's just gonna sit there. We should just be able to knock his ass over because, like, I think his gyro's gone, right? Oh, he's almost got no, no armor left either. Okay, who's going first? 23 Stormcrows, probably one of them. No? Copter? 22 Copter Solaris going. He's overheated. He's trying to get to... Okay. Okay, we might be able to get a back kill on him. Oh, two hits. Okay, who's up? Outcast. Uh, wow, those guys are like out of range. Let's drop some mines on this guy. Keep a minefield nice and fat up there. It's kind of thin on that, on like on the edges. It's kind of thin. I've been dropping the most of the fast cam and stuff in the CT. Ooh, who is this guy? I think this is the guy that's like down by the center. Is it? Or was it this guy? Maybe it was that guy. I have no idea. Alright. Let's mop up some of these guys back here if we can. I don't know how we're going to deal with those urban mechs across the map. Alright, this should do. Took damage on the other side, really? Well, let's hope we get it in the same spot. Spread it around, why not? Bet you I hit the front. Because I'm shooting from the side. Oh, no, we didn't. We did, kind of. God damn it, that pack hunter's got to go. They've all got to go. What am I talking about? Okay. Damn, man. I don't know what to do. I, I, I honestly... There's just so many of them. Okay. There's that LRM-20. There goes the rest of our AMS ammo. Do we actually shoot any down? Six of them. Okay. Alright. Well, 24 less damage. You gotta keep moving up because you're our only hope to shoot across the map. It puts you in the line of sight of a lot of people, but I don't have a choice. That's back shots.
Can I see that guy? I can't see that guy. Okay. 25 side shots. Urban Mech 34. 60 on this guy. It's a side shot. I mean, if I get lucky and get the torso, maybe? I don't know. This guy's not doing anything. That's a 77 on the copter. Would that be a kill? Let's go for the kill. For Christ's sake. Okay, good. Okay, at least that guy's out of play. Yeah, who'd have thought I'd have a match with five copters and one lamb and just the sound is just unbearable. It's driving me nuts. I gotta turn way down on my headphones. I gotta remember to turn it down when I when I publish this too, otherwise it's gonna drive everybody insane. Like honestly guys, the rogue tech team, if you're watching this, drop the sound down by fifty percent, like at least twenty dB, sixteen dB, somewhere in there. It's just way too much. It's fine if it's just a little hum in the background right but the fact that you can hear that lamb like here it's all the way across the map it's just got to be gone at least the copiers you can move away from them and not hear it but it's just unbearable all right well okay, let's hold on to you i know what we're doing with you we got to hold on to you for a second just hold on for a second. I gotta get this guy out of the way first, because I don't want to hit him. I think the only chance to hit those guys across the board are the thumpers. But we can't do enough damage to them to like make it work. And I can't get over there. How am I gonna get over there? It's got like four rounds left after this one. I gotta get it mortar range. Oh now you're coming back? You spent the whole game running uh, running away, now you're coming back? Crap, we lost another copter. Okay, let's get you to here. Wow. Much better on this guy. Might as well strip any evasion he's got too. Okay, a little better. Don't know if it's going to be a kill, but we're going to apply all the damage to this guy and hopefully do a bunch. Oh, well, there he goes. Enjoy the snow, buddy. Time to go skiing. Your day is over. So this building's almost done. And this one's almost done. I, I, I don't know. I can't win this. Well, I've said that before and I won. We'll see what happens. I really need to engage those guys across the map board, but I don't know... You're one of my best hopes to do that, so I gotta, I gotta use you. I'm gonna try and kill this Zora. Now we gotta tie these guys up over on the other side. Okay, where's the, who's got... 4%, 18%. So you've got, yeah, you're, you're the uh, AC-10 version, I think. Um, God, it looks pretty kind of. It looks kind of cool. Look at that. Let's make sure we're shooting at the right guy. It looks like we were. Okay, twenty percent. All right. Hopefully, he sees us as a potential target. I doubt it, but.
We got a few guys left. I think I'm going to try and move the Clint forward and get a barrage on this guy because he's not moving. Although this building is like right here. Oh, it's got lots of hit points. Alright. Keep firing across the map board. Don't mind that at all. Okay, let's get some direct line of sight. We can get the large laser on somebody too. Um, if it'll range. Nope. Yep. Hopefully we can take this guy's leg. I'm not going to use the uh, Warlord just yet. Use it for somebody more important. There we go. There's the leg. That was lucky. We get fire on this guy? I think we got a little bit of fire on the Stormcrow. A little bit of fire on the Stormcrow. Hmm. Stay in the open, keep our side turned to people. Let's get up to here. Okay, we can't see that guy directly. I mean, we could keep the pressure up on this guy. Where did the other Stormcrow go? Where'd he go? Is that him there? Urban Mech? Urban Mech? Herbie? Oh, there he is there. He's running. Let's take a shot at the pack hunter. Maybe he'll change targets and try and target us. I doubt it, but he might. Okay, a little bit of splash on him. Alright, well. Oh, the R-59's got a mortar. That's right. It's the same one as the ones that we have with the mortars. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, well, let's get this guy if we can. Lousy chances to hit. Let's try and increase them with this. A little bit better, but not much. Alright, the mortar's looking pretty cheery. Um, he's got a gas rifle, this guy. Let's get the tandems going too and fire everything on this guy. All right, we've got a double heat sink anyway. See what he does. Pew. Nope. Yeah, see, they don't have speed and they don't... They got those small chem lasers, so... Oh, this is the Irby that's up in the mines. Is he going to move or is he just going to, like, be all goofy? He bailed. Beautiful. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice to get an Urban Mac 2C? I think I got, like, I think I got one part of that. Okay, where are you? Who are you? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, the Ultra 5. Put it into there. Got it, Commander. Put the rounds into this guy. And let's hope we hit the side in the right spot. Good. Excellent. Oh, man. What a situation. Okay, he's backing up. He's still gonna fight the buildings, I bet you. Yeah. Okay, at least he missed with the PPC. He's overheating, though, so I think he's a prime target for, uh, Inferno. Alright, um...
This guy's got some good weaponry, man. I think I gotta kill this guy. He's right at our backside. I think he's gotta go. Alright, what are we looking at here for back armor? Paper. Okay, mortar on two. We're gonna take damage from this, but I think we have to. I'm on the enemy. Damn it, we missed with one of the largest. We didn't even pen. That was bad. That was really bad. We blew our chance to take this guy down in one shot. Oh, we got a leg though. <sighs> yeah, yeah, blow up, blow up, blow up. Nope. At least he's not shooting for buildings. See ya. Sorry to say. Well, that guy's almost lost his legs. This guy's almost lo Oh my god, he almost lost his legs in that one. You want thunder? I'll give you thunder. It's good chance to hit this guy. I hate that, but actually, let's use a sensor lock for next turn. Let's lock this guy. Sensors locked on. Well, this isn't. Is this the? Are we still at the end of? What are we at? Twenty-one. Okay. That's the mortar. Where are they going to come though? I think we go with I think we go here. Engaging. Don't think it's gonna make that much difference, but that's what we're doing. Okay, lifeboat. Yeah. I know what needs to be done. I'm gonna have to accept the fact that we've got a Gauss rifle at our back, but... Engaging the target. Come on. Not enough to take a leg. We'll be using the other guy, uh, beef eater on the other guy. Where's that pack hunter? This guy's still this guy's still pretty scary. He's too far away to go direct fire, unfortunately. I'm on him. Damn it. No love on that strike. Come on, man, get in the fight. Nice. Distract that guy. Keep him on ya. That's my only helper left. Everybody else is gone. We've almost cleared these guys up. This guy's still a major threat. I'll have to wait for next turn though. Where are you going? Shit. That's bad. Makes me wish I had um, Inferno ammo in this thing. Full speed. No. I hate having to do it this way, but we do. Okay, now you got a lot left in that leg and almost nothing in that one. You're an airburst shot and you're going down. So let's target this guy and hope we get lucky here. 
Lots of missiles. I wonder if we go with tandem instead. And maybe we get a crit on them. Let's try it. Let's... Ah, no. We only want the better chance to hit. Let's go this route. Didn't get the leg. Damn it. Inflicted some heavy damage. Hopefully we can make a move. Who's up? Beef eater. Yes, Commander. Damn it, man. <sighs> Roger that. This is not ideal. Okay. All we need is one leg hit. Confirmed. There you go. Inflicted some heavy. All right. I was hoping we were going to hit that other leg when he went down, but that's fine. That's just a pot shot to the leg, and he's done. He, that guy's running again. He's been a coward the whole match. Yeah, I don't think I don't even think he's got any functioning weapons. That's probably why he's just running around. Commander. All right, you can't get up to fight the guys over here. Let's get into here. This guy's like super accurate. Forty two in the storm crow. You know what though? I think we need to hammer this guy hard. And we do it now. Oh, does he got He's probably got an ECM or something that I can't use to target his leg with. Alright, we just fire. I'm going to go with the rockets too. Hope we get that leg. Let's just hit him hard. Come on, blow up. Blow up. This whole side's gone though. Okay, we got two Stormcrow threats down. On their backs. Massive injuries. The Solera on this side, ooh, that's the Cloudbuster. Solera on this side is the threat. We've got our main pilot here to still to go. Okay, you can't see anybody on the ground from there. Now, what about? 34 is not bad. Let's go into here. Let's keep them shooting for you. Go out to the one we can probably hit. Well, it's even worse now. Alright, whatever. At least we get a fire into that pack hunter. This is the only threat right now to our guys back here. Although that, that Kid Fox could do some damage, but he's really not doing much. Oh, you, came, you decided to come back, did you? At least you're at extreme range. It's kind of a benefit for us. So we go on 21. We can probably get behind this guy. I hope we can get behind this guy. Oh, the Kit Fox. Wait, what? Oh, he's shooting the Galleon. Probably because we haven't targeted... Well, we have targeted him, actually. That's so weird. Okay. Wait, what the hell? We're on turn 15. Did I miss something? Oh, I guess you know what? No, I didn't. That's right. I thought this 
I thought uh, turn around was going at the end of the turn. She was going at the beginning of the turn. That's why. Okay, that makes more sense now. There's just so many mechs on the board. I'm just having a hard time keeping track of where we are here. So we're on turn 15. We got a 13 and a 14 left. And that's it. So she's going to drop some incendiary rounds on the pack hunter. Because the pack hunter's hot. Hopefully we can keep him real freaking toasty. Did he come down off the... Out of the air? Okay, let's drop. Waiting for orders. Drop the needle. Hate to say this, but we got to go for the kill on the. Uh, on this guy, I think. Or do we? Fifty four. There's the storm crow. I gotta keep him shooting this way. Pack hunter's getting the artillery. 25 on this. This is the mortar mech. That's indirect though. That's really lousy chances to hit, although one more good blast in that torso and he's done. Well, not done, but the side's gone. His gosh rifle's in the other arm, though. Nope, I think it's this. Confirm. Get the kill while we can, because if that guy stands up and fires, he could do some damage, so let's make sure he doesn't do that. I'm really glad those guys used up their uh, Receiving you. their weapons on. Um, I'm gonna do this Moving out. and position myself facing this guy, so maybe he'll target me. But we're going this side. Actually, we're gonna warlord this. Better chance to hit the storm crow. Let's drop it in right there. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. This guy's last half his weapons. Structure exposed, yeah. Looks like he was just firing the SRM too. Okay, turn 26. Who's going first? Turn around. We're going to walk it to give us better chances to hit. Large lasers, this is good range for them. Mortar, not so much, but we're going to fire everything in this guy's back and hopefully we hit a torso this time. Oh yeah. Crap. The armor. Okay, he's going on 20. Who do we have before him? Anybody? Oh yeah, we've got one guy. we got one of the... Uh, Urban mechs will go before him. Yeah, they're getting serious. They're getting serious. Round seven. Waiting for orders. Let's get where that kid fox can't shoot us. As much as I want to turn around and shoot the guys behind me. 55 on the pack hunter. I think we got to go after this guy. Nice. Okay, he lost evasive. So who... Oh, they're going to go next, aren't they? This guy's going to go next. Shoot, I was hoping that... Because he went on 21. Damn. Okay. They're Shit, there goes the leg. Oh, that's a torso. Oh, that's my mortar. I'm I lost the <sighs> that's, that's a huge problem. I don't have a replacement for that. Well, which means we got to kill the R-59.
Okay, we're getting landmine damage over there at least. God damn it. Fucking LRMs. This isn't looking too good. Well, we may have a completely different configuration of this lance after this mission. I got four Mortar 2s sitting in storage, but I can't use them. I've only got single ballistic hardpoints on my mech, so... I, mean, I guess I could use a Mortar 2, but not anywhere near as good as a Mortar 8. What are you doing? Nothing. This is a tough one, guys. Alright, um... Let's hope for some crits on that Goss rifle. God damn it, misses. So many misses. Where's that storm crow? 33 in the pack hunter. 30 in the storm crow is worth it. See if we can get a hit on him. Yeah, everything is still so much out of range here. Copy that. Nice. Okay, let's get out here. It's not optimal, but we gotta do it. Let's go with acid on you. Nice damage. Some more thunder on that side. Okay, we gotta kill this Solaire, this, this guy, next turn. He's gotta die. If he doesn't die, we're in a lot of trouble. Look at this motherfucker flying. Well, there goes that building. Oh, not quite. Who's up? Orders. <sighs> Let's just not move. Increases our chance to hit. Four, twenty-eight. We go after the storm crow, and hopefully this splash will uh, hit the pack hunter and warm him up again. Nice. Okay, that's good stuff. Ooh, that's nice. That's landmines going off. Resisted the injury. Left leg is destroyed though. Can we follow up with an, a, strike, a strike on the other leg? There's the question. Wait, where is he? Right here? Uh, I'm not seeing him from where I am. <sighs> Gotta move into the minefield to get him. 
We are not in optimal position. I could move here, though. Heading out. Let's try for the leg. Damn it. Okay, he took a little bit of damage from mines. Shooting on the Galleon. So the R-59 is the mortar. I mean, I guess I could try and lace that area with mines. Mortars. I don't have anything to hit that guy up there with. Let's do this. Let's do this. Firing on target. And that. I've taken a fresh wound. Are you kidding me? How do you get hit in the head but oh my god, really? I don't even know anymore. Now she's going to go after that guy. Commander. Like, honestly. You are our 20. Eighty-six, eh? Where's that pack hunter? Okay, he's taking a fair bit. Let's go after this pack hunter. I think that's the smart choice. Nice. Wasn't expecting the kill, but I'll take it. That guy's just got his SRM2 left. I think he lost all his LRM ammo. He's not moving though. Like it's just the smartest move for him to do is just not move. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got so lucky. <gasps> so I'm glad I I'm glad I put the minefields there, and I'm not glad I put the minefield there. Standing by. Get in the trees, kiddo, because uh, he's probably going to shoot you with his gauss rifle. So let's hope we get can get a crit on it here. Fire everything. Fire. Not quite enough. Doing well though. Oh, he's running. Ah. Fuck's sake. I'm hit, there goes one of my LRMs. Now, do I go for the guy? No, I don't go for the guy on the ground. Because he's already gone this turn. I kill the kit fox, that's what I do. I think that's really the, the only way to handle that situation up there on the hill. I'm ready. I don't know whether... Okay, so that's the right side. I don't know whether going up... Like... These guys here are pushing this direction and going after these guys was the right move. If I should have waited till everyone on the hill was dead, I, I I don't know what would what probably the best move was to do, but I think it's working okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Hit the urban mech. Come on, move. Take that leg damage. You know you want to. Oh, going after that guy, eh? Well, he held in there.
Okay. This is the guy we want, so... We're not gonna get him. This fucking lamb. Okay, who's next? Reading you loud and clear. The best chance to hit. Still both the same. All right, well. Let's hope we get lucky on this guy. That looked pretty good to me. Yes. Target eliminated. Good to go. On my way. Guy's out of range. Yeah, I think we go acid on this guy. Beautiful. Scored a critical hit. Okay. this way. What do we got here? 57? Not bad. Fucking shoot him in the head. Taking the shot. Ah. <sighs> okay. Who's up? Waiting for orders. You don't need to move. Twenty-three on that guy, eh? Forty-seven on this guy. Well, sure. Gonna keep going with the infernos on him. Wow. Reporting negative damage. Yeah, really? Couldn't tell. Okay, moving into here. Got a little bit of height, not much, but a little bit. Lon Warlord. Alright, again, trying the same thing. Let's get that leg. There we go. Got two rounds left after this one. I don't know how we're going to get that R59. I think we just keep shooting him. Or we try for the kill on this guy. This guy's still got a lot of firepower. He could, we could lose the match, in which case we lose all our salvage. Reporting critical hit. Okay, he's gone. Gone. We're down to what? Like four? Five? Oh, you're clearing the mines for me. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Oh, jeez, eh? Thanks. Both LRMs are gone. We're not going to be able to get close enough to those guys over there. But we can sure as hell give this guy a fuck you. I think we're out of ammo. I think that's the problem. There you go. Problem solved. I probably should have dealt with that guy earlier. Thinking back, I should have taken the turn 
turn and a half to, to deal with the damage to those guys. Yeah, I think it was a mistake to not uh, take them seriously. Understood. Moving fast. Just go with acid on this guy. All the little damage that we do will start to increase. Okay, that gives me a shot on him. Primitive. That thorn back there must have no weapons. Alright, Warlord. Warlord! Keep on this guy. If I can drop him and save that shoulder, we can get our mortar back. Commander. We'll sprint! Copy that. Who do we got next? I'm listening. Full sprint. We got two shots left in the mortar. One on this guy. I'm locked in on the target. Come on, bail out. Reporting a critical strike. Oh, he's unstable. Actually, we don't need to move from here. We got a direct line of sight on this guy. Come on, get that torso. Well, we hit him. Got fire coming in in a second, too. This guy better not be the clincher. They gotta take down three buildings. I don't think they can get... They, if they fire... If they, what's this guy doing now? Oh, you do have weapons. What do you know? Damage is minor, Commander. He's just a chicken shit. Standing by. Okay, you're, those guys are out of range, and I don't think you can actually get there. Like... I can't even see the guy in the valley, either. Let's go this way. Because then we can come around and maybe shoot the, this guy in the valley here next turn. But I'm not going to try and target this guy because we might take the building down by mistake. Much as I want to shoot for him. I could take one of my buildings down. Yes, Commander. Hardcore, you know the score. Hopefully that mortar shows up in the, uh... Engaging. Well, let's hope we kill this guy first. Then the mortar shows up in that the... In the, uh... Salvage. My god. Look at this ridiculous thing. Yeah. Alright, what do you got? Paramedium lasers. Might as well do this. Got a lock. Oh, okay. Damn, man. Okay, at least he's not targeting buildings. Oh, for crying out loud. I lost a weapon. Yeah, you think? Ready for order. Why do I open my mouth? Confirmed. Why do I open my mouth? Receiving you. So that's Oh, it's always going to be a front shot, so there's no point in moving. Alright, this guy. Firing on target. 
This mortar's damaged already. Okay, there's a kill. And the right torso was destroyed, because of course it was. Well, so much for mortars now. I gotta figure out what the hell to do with my with my guys. Maybe we get enough Urban Mech 2C parts, I can put one of those together, and maybe I can put like a bunch of, like four mortar twos in it. I don't know. This is our last turn, and we have one more after this. Round 10, last turn. All right, well, we'll go for a direct line line of sight shot on that guy. I don't think they got a juice to take down two more buildings. They might get the one that's damaged, but... Um, why don't I have a shot on this guy? What, why am... Wait, what? Why am I not in range with anything? Oh, because I don't have... Right, I, I don't have air burst. So I can't use any of my weapons on this guy. But I can use my mortar on this guy. Alright. Short range missiles are out. Receiving you. You're done for today. Keeping my heat low. This was supposed to be a milk run. What the hell happened? Well, they're down to three, four. Oh, fuck you. I'm taking a yeah, I know. Orders. Okay, you don't need to move. Down to 42, huh? Just go with guided and hope we hit the hit the uh, leg there. Come on. That's a lot of damage. I think I hit something good. Down to three in the leg. Good to go. You can't do anything. Hunkering down. What are your orders, Skipper? Move you down to here. Really lousy chances on this guy. But I am going to do just do this. And fire. fire. One of them should hit his leg. What? My SRMs are out. You loser. Yes, Commander. I take that back. He's not a loser. I'm just a loser for trusting him. Get a pepper him. Let's hope we get the leg. Are you kidding me? That hit something good. Well, there's the knockdown. Bail out. Come on, you know you want to bail out. Make it easy on yourself. Oh, he's unconscious. Never mind. Hope you shoot this guy's head clean off. Firing full there goes his leg. A little bit of payback. Okay, who do we got left? Skippy. Standing by. Put a flak round on this. If we kill our own building, I don't care. We still got enough. Five have to survive. Why can't I flak this guy? Does HE not work with flak? Oh well. Maybe we get lucky. Copy that. Nope. Not today. What are you up to? Yeah, we knew that building was going down.
Man, we got so lucky. Who's left, Carrick? Ready for orders. Roger that. Full speed. Gonna kill this thorn. Screw you! Not enough. Inflicted some heavy damage. Who do we have left? I'm receiving you. Oh. This is the last guy and it's over. Speaking footing. I'm good to go. Wow, you almost died. Forty eight percent chance for a kill. Here it comes. Primitive. Yes! Satisfying! Go down. There it is, folks. Oh my god. Mission successful. Oh, man. So, yeah. We made no money on this one. I gotta take stuff to replace things that I lost. So, the R69, we lost both of the clan LRM10s. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I can still rebuild this guy. I can lower the core and everything and rebuild it. Um, at least none of our mechs went down. So the light engine's damaged. So the mortar 8 is gone. So we got to look for a mortar 8. Ammo, I've got, I don't have fast ammo, I don't think. No. I got most of the other ones, I think. Uh, what else? Anything else we lose here? Ultra Auto Cannon 5 Clan. I think I've got a backup though for that one. No, I don't. So that's going to be a rebuild. That's interesting. This guy's okay. This guy's okay. So the two LRM 10s, Mortar 8, and an Ultra Auto Cannon 5 are the things we need to look for. I get six picks. So. Yeah. That's interesting. I do have stuff I can sell, so I'm not worried about that. But I want urban mech parts too, like... Look at all this. Look at all the parts. Oh my god, a full 2C. I have to take it. I have no choice. And then I think the most important thing to take is the Mortar 8. Ultra 10, pair 3 Ultra 5s. Wow. Look at all these XL engines too. Not as many as I would have liked though, but you know, I didn't really kill that many mechs by blowing their legs off. Well, I mean, that's not true. About half of them went down without lo like losing their legs, so. Oh, man. No mortar. So now i got to reconsider what we're doing here. Ultra 5 ammo. i got one. Hmm. Okay, so what do we got for LRMs, then? We may have to go to an LRM delivery for for mines. Two LRM twenties. I think I have to do that in order to keep the the mine laying playthrough working. This is going to help out because if we get the I don't know what the hard points on this are. Oh, it's one ballistic and one laser? That's it? Still upgraded the urban mech or on the same uh, Omni mech. Interesting. I think I can't not take that though. I can always grab more stuff in other, in other offline playthroughs. I'll just take like half skull missions instead of one and a half. I can't believe this is a one and a half skull mission. 
Like to me, this that that felt like a like at least a three and a half skull or a three skull. So we got a Kit Fox Stormcrow parts. There's our Urban Mech. We got our R59 part. Okay, so we're on our way to getting a. We got three parts of one other Urban Mech right now, so that's good. Two ER Clan ER medium lasers. I'll probably hold on to those Rocket Twenties. I'll probably. Let's just. We don't need those guys. I don't think. Small heavy Clan lasers. 180 meter range. As much as I'd want to hold on to them, that's just too short a range for me. Uh, small cam laser can go. The clan cockpits, we've got one. I'll hold on to one and lose the other. We've got two of these, so I can lose that. The 125 core, I'll hold on to. The 250, I'll sell. Primitive can go. Ferrofibrous, we got two up. And I know we got some of these, too. I can lose that one. Heat sinks can go. Double heat sink we'll hang on to for now. Advanced jammer we'll hang on to. ATM ammo and Ultra 10 ammo. I think we've got an Ultra 10. I just wouldn't be able to get enough ammo into anything for that. Although the ATM ammo is nice. I think we've got an ATM 9 too, which we might be able to employ with something. I don't know. Let's just see what we get here. Alright, let's have a look at that 2C. Let's go to the mech bay here real quick. Man, I don't know. That was a tough one. If I had known what was going to be there, I think I would have brought the the um, Hollander rather than the Clint. But I don't know, because I think the Clint was rather un ineffectual. I'm not liking the build on that at all. Um, so let's go down to the 2C here. Yeah, so we got we got a ah, it was a pirate part that we had. Okay, let's bring this guy forward. Ready, you. All right, let's see what it's got. Oops, mech bay. Dirt. A little tired of recording this late at night. I wasn't expecting to be, like, having a fight like that. Looks like we lost a lot off this thing, but it is an Omni, so we'll see what it is. Interested to see how much weight it's got available. Oh, it's got a 90 core, which isn't too bad. Oh, it has a built-in jump jet. Or is that built-in? I don't know. Parallel. So it was carrying the Ultra 10. And it's not an Omni. Okay. So what is the difference between the 2C and... Is it just a clan urban mech with... I don't understand why it would be... Well, it's got, I guess it's got built-in clan gear here. Built-in case. Eh. So it's not, didn't even have an XL engine in it. So, I mean, we could, I could go ahead and drop in. Like, we do clan endo. Clan pharaoh. We need to max out the armor. I gotta be careful of my C-bills. XL engine. And then weapon. We've got an ultra AC. Just a, we don't have a clan ultra AC 10 though. Yeah, weight wise, that's like prohibitive. And then it's really direct fire too, right? Like so. Although we do have a laser. We got. Ah, it's the same. It's a regular urban mech, pretty much. Man, I shouldn't have like. I shouldn't have gone. The, ah well, what do you do, right? It's done now. I thought I was going to get something more. Yeah, see, we got four Mortar 2s. Like, if this thing had... If this thing was like a true Omni and had extra hard points, I'd put Mortar 2s all over it to make up for the Mortar 8 loss. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this. I don't think it's going to be an Ultra build. i got to figure out what to do. I mean, maybe we turn this into an Ultra 5 build. And then the other one, like... Let's just see what we got here. Um, like if we look for, ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, because this is just an R59, so it's the same as the other ones. So this is really the Ultra, well, it can't be an Ultra 5 build now because I, it's two tons difference. I don't have a Clan Ultra 5 to replace it with, so if I repair all this, at least we didn't lose the mine dispensers. That's like, I don't have any of those. Lost the hard gel though. 
Uh, so if I go, I mean, we could go an LBX5. It's a little lighter, but less damage than the Ultra. The Ultra was doing so well on this thing. Um, so if we go the Ultra 5, what else did I have? He oh, we need the heat sinks. We had a double ton of ammo. So you, what, I lost that. Oh, the hard gel was half ton. Wait, how does that work out? Did I... Oh, I had extra heat sinks in. That was what it was. Trying to stay heat neutral. Okay, so this may actually still work here. Now, I've only got one Ultra 5 ammo, though. It's only 15 shots. So, I mean, that's not really even viable either. I mean, we could do another... I mean, I don't know. See, now I'm running low on shiz. I think we... I think I put something in it to just, like, get it running. Maybe it's the pirate... Pirate rat. Ah, uh, still wait. Like, the weight is ridiculous. 18... Oh, that's Hellstorm. Goss is 15 tons, right? Yeah. Their weight is just prohibitary. Prohibitive. So maybe it is like an LBX or... I don't know. Maybe I put a big laser on it and... But then I can't sink the heat. I mean, I guess I could put a big laser on it and, like... Now, see, I could go with a regular AC-5 if I'm going to be single-shotting it. There's more ammo per ton for a regular AC-5, too. Is there a minimum range on this? It's 60. So, I mean, we could go with the regular... Just like a single ton of AC-5 for now. And then... Um, when we pick up more Ultra, add it in later, and then I just go single fire until we can... Ah, but then at that point, but if I lose the weapon, so I'd be better off, like I'm still just better off putting in a regular AC-5, because if I'm going to be single shotting it, what's the point of risking a, an Ultra, right? I'm better off putting in a single AC-5 with... Uh, I don't even have AC-5 ammo. Well, isn't that a friggin' how do you do? Well, this is gonna get real interesting. I gotta figure out what to do. I mean, we could go... I can't... Uh, as soon as I start going direct fire, I'm screwed. I have to go indirect. Which means mortars. So I gotta find a way to get some mortars. I don't know what else to do. I mean, we got we do have a bit of mortar ammo. So maybe I go back to basics and go back to half skull missions. I hope I find... Like, I do have a fair bit of mortar ammo here. Like incendiary, guided, flare, airburst, airburst. So, yeah, regular ammo. Let me think about it. And then, um, yeah, I'll have to make some repairs. Do some offline battles. Figure out what we're going to do with this. But I am going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if you got any suggestions, you've seen what I've got. If you got any suggestions for the mechs, just drop it in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.